Well, the Bulls wound up with a thriller Monday night at Alumni Arena in the first round of the Mid-American Conference Tournament. UB hosted the Central Michigan Chippewas, and this game went right down to the wire. Orem kills the dribble, needs some help, whips it to Downing above the circle. Right side for Skeet. Jaron above the right elbow. Stops his dribble, whips it to Watson left wing. Left corner, New Area. He'll try a three and hit it. Orem New Area had missed his last eight three-pointers before that one. And now it's 15 to 12. Thomas Edwards needing some help. Bounces to Regan in the left corner. Seven to shoot. Now Skeet outside left. Drives on Keel to the baseline. Gets under the hoop. Wild reverse layup won't go, but it's tipped up and in by either McCray or Thomas Edwards. Going into the game, we, we had a lot of energy. We had a lot of enthusiasm, and, and, and Central played uh, a pretty good game with us. Skeet triggering it from the left of the hoop. Plays it into Watson, left wing. After a foot fake on the three, drives to the basket, and Tony scores the layup. That's our drive of the game. They did a good job with, with switching up the defense songs. You know, there sometimes we're, we're guessing what kind of defense they were in, and, and we, we finally realized what they were doing, and we just ran our stuff. They are going to have to take care of it. We, we weren't worried about what kind of defense they were in. Regan, head of the key from Watson, fires a three and hits it. And the Bulls are in front. 41-38 Buffalo, that's 10 points now for Regan. Kind of hit me, you know, that I'm, I need to be playing better. And I knew, you know, I knew I, I expected myself to play better than I am now, so I, I know I can do it, and I just have to keep going and just prepare mentally and physically just every day, and um, I'll get there. Snaps it to Regan, head of the key. Hands off to New Eric on the far wing. Orm right back in there. Left wing, Tony Watson. Headed to Key Regan, tries a three over him, it's swish! Third trifecta of the night for Will Regan, and the Bulls go back ahead, 55-54. The biggest thing you could really do is just talk. If you're talking and you're, you're helping your teammates, helping them cut down space, making it harder for them to drive, feel more confident on their guy on the ball, then you're helping your teammate out. Well, a bunch of Bulls had spectacular nights for UB. Javon McCray again led the way with 21 points and eight rebounds. He also blocked four more shots for Buffalo while leading UB in scoring. Jaron, top of the circle. Between the rings to Watson. Left wing New Area. Bulls look like one to go inside on this trip. Orem, nice to the bucket. Hands off McCray who lays it in. Count the bucket and a foul. 51-51, we're tied. McCray will be at the free throw line trying to give the Bulls the lead. Uh, just doing the, doing the same thing I know how to do. Just taking, uh, doing whatever my teammates need for me and uh, actually <laughs> play as hard as I can. Trying to snap the tie, McCray sets himself, shoots, and it's a rounded in. 14 points for McCray, 52-51 Buffalo. We want to get him the ball as much as we can. At times, we're holding it and looking to see where he is, and what we really need to be able to do is know where he is without looking. And um, we got out of our rhythm a little bit, and, and we got to find that in practice. Covered up in traffic, Jaron pitches it to Watson left wing, fakes a shot, drives toward the hoop, bounces back to Skeet. Jaron in the lane, hooks and pass to McCray under the basket for the two-hand slam. What a look from Jaron Skeet. Yeah, they, they have a unique team. They, they have three perimeters who, who are really good off the dribble, and then they bring in two post players that shoot three. So that uh, takes Javon McCray out of the paint, Will Reagan, Cameron Down, those guys out of the paint and not there to block shots like they usually do in every game. This is a team that has had, you know, has made as many as 14 threes in a game. And we wanted to get out there and make it difficult for them. Now, having said that, Randall hit some difficult shots. And uh, it seemed like when we didn't block them, it seemed like they were going in right, right to the end. But uh, all in all, we gritted it out. Randall against New Arianc. Crosses over on him. Probes the left alley. Steps by Orem. And from short range, he missed the bunny. Got his own miss. Shot blocked while triple teamed underneath. And then he was tied up under the bucket. And the arrow favors Buffalo. Every game at this point, you know, you got to play your hardest, you got to leave it all on the floor, and you got to just, you know, play your best to get the wins. Every team's coming that coming the hardest, so there's not going to be an easy game from here on out. Sophomore Will Regan, 15 points and 8 rebounds, and Will blocked a shot while playing 41 minutes in the game. A senior playing his final game at Alumni Arena, Florida native Tony Watson came through with 14 points and 6 assists. He played every second of this overtime game, all 45 minutes. It hasn't hit me quite yet that I just played my last game here, but I, I just want to thank the fans for everything that they do for us, all the support. They're there through our ups and downs, and, and the, the, the best thing that we, we can do for them is play our hardest every day uh, and every night. So but I just want to thank the fans for everything they do for us. And how about Rafael Thomas Edwards? The sophomore from England had his best game yet as a bull, contributing 10 points all in the first half as UB built up a narrow four-point lead at the break. 
McCray between the circles, right wing Thomas Edwards drives toward the bucket, squeezes between defenders and drops one through. Ten first half points for Rafael Thomas Edwards. Where did this come from? Ultimately, an overtime decision at Alumni Arena as the Bulls outlasted Central Michigan at 74 to 72. The Bulls improving to 13 and 19 now on the year as Central Michigan season ends at 11 and 20. Now let's head to the locker room and see how the Bulls reacted after this overtime win at Alumni Arena. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. It's that time of year where they say survive and advance, yes, right? Sir. So survive that one, we move on, okay? And we survived it. That was not our best performance, but it was a gritty one. <coughs> and it was a tough one. It was a, we're not going to back down. We're going to fight through adversity. And it was a pretty determined one because they hit us with some shots. We took their best shot and we kept going. For us to get this done, we're going to have to play, then play again, then play again, then play again. We, uh, we, 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 we